A warm hello to all, and welcome back to Pascal's Storytime. I hope you're doing very well. Today's book is a special one. The sun plays with the moon. Discover eclipses throughout imagination and wonder. The story is by Alicia Mofford and illustrated by Annie Wilkinson. The sun plays with the moon. The sun and the moon are far away friends. They play tag in the sky and the game never ends. They go around the earth chasing night and day, making magic circles high in the Milky Way. The sun is big, bright and yellow. The moon is white like a giant marshmallow. When one comes up, the other goes down. This event happens in everybody's town. Sometimes they tag with the high five and move closer together like bees in a hive. The clap of their hands forms a partial eclipse, creating a scene you won't want to miss. It can happen during the day or the night. Each one shows a beautiful sight. When it happens in the day, the sky gets dark and everyone comes out to watch from the park. While at night, parts of the moon turn bright red and anyone can see it from the comfort of their bed. Other times, when one catches the other, a big pull occurs and they hug one another. Their hug creates a total eclipse. When that appears, it is hard to miss. It can happen at any time of the day, but the day and the night looks different in every way. The day resembles the night hazy and dark, but without a twilight. While at night, the moon glows with an intense red light. Everyone watches in awe as the sun and the moon let go. Their game of tag must go on after this dazzling show. Plants and animals thrive in the light from the sun and they rest in the moonlight when the day is done. The sun and the moon seem like they are on opposite sides, but they work together to turn the tides. The sun rises each morning and the moon at night. Thanks for playing in the sky and for giving us light. Did you know the earth goes around the sun and the moon goes around the earth? The sun is so big that if we compare it to the size of a basketball, then the moon would be the size of a teeny tiny green pea. The sun and the moon seem like the same size because the sun is so far away. The moon does not really get close to the sun during an eclipse. Sometimes the moon passes between the sun and the earth. The moon then blocks the sunlight casting a shadow on Earth. This creates a solar eclipse. Other times, the Earth passes between the sun and the moon. The Earth then blocks the sunlight, casting a shadow on the moon. This creates a lunar eclipse. 
even though the moon looks bright at night, it does not make its own light. It reflects light from the sun. The sun's distance. The sun looks close, but it is really, really far away. Imagine driving forever and even in a car. That is how far. The sun's age. The sun is super old. It is like a grandpa star. It has been shining for about 4.6 billion years. That's a lot of years. Moon footprints. When astronauts walk on the moon, their footprints stay there forever because there is no wind or rain to wipe them away. A moon jump. If you jumped on the moon, you could jump six times higher than at home. You would be like a space kangaroo. The Earth's tilt. The Earth is a bit slanty, like a leaning toy. That is why we have different seasons, like winter and summer. I will leave you with this note from the author, Alicia Mofford. The sun plays with the moon. If you have a chance to be in a zone to watch the eclipse on April 8th, please, please be careful with your eyes and wear appropriate eye protection. Take good care of yourselves. Be kind. Until next time, sweet dreams and bye for now.